Hey guys, what's up? Troy here from TNA Adventures. Um, got some airbags from Auto Saver 88 on Amazon. Uh, they're going to replace the airbags that we're going to put on our 91 uh, Winnebago Warrior RV. We got off another RV that was getting scrapped out. The brackets and hardware are all good. The airbags are dry rotted. Um, that airbag there has got a hole in it. So I just got the replacement bellows. And this is the new one here. And as you can see the bottom here, mine has two holes here, which will match with these two holes right here. You can also use these for just ones that have just a center mounting hole in the, on the bottom. Um, so they're universal. Um, I'll just take this bracket off here, swap it over to here. And if we flip it around, as you can see there, the top, flip this around. Okay, this the stock one has studs. These are these are, these come out, and they're just a nut, and there's studs in there. The studs don't come out, so you're gonna have to get bolts to go into here. Um, I'm not positive what size they are. Um, just standard thread bolts. I found some laying around at the house. Right there, I'm gonna use two of those. Screw them into here. Holes match up. The only difference is the. The port for the air fitting is bigger. So you're going to need a bushing to adapt down to the size that you need. So this will go in there. All this is real cheap in any of your box stores, whatever, hardware stores. That goes there. Your fitting is going to go right into that and you're all set. So I'm going to swap these over and I'll show you when it's all done and build up. All right, so here's the old airbags. And there's the new ones with all my hardware on it. Remember, these airbags come with no hardware, just the bellows or the bags. Um, so you gotta transfer, you have to have all the hardware and transfer it all over to these. And everything went perfect, bolted right up. Three eighths bolts, so I put new bolts on it. They're all three eighths. There's that. I don't have the hose connected yet. I'll connect that when I do it down there. This one here has, this goes on the passenger side, the exhaust over there. So this is like a, a, a buffer for the exhaust, a shield. All right, guys, putting airbags on the 91. Winnebago Warrior C-Class. Obviously you take the tire off, but uh, that bumper stop there, you have to cut these off because these are uh, like rivet heads on this side and the other side I, I can't get anything on them so i don't know what the deal is on the other side cut those off then there's one bolt up underneath here that i got my wrench on you can see my wrench there is on and you got to just unscrew that and then this whole thing will come off and then your bags will go between this and this so uh just wanted to show you that all right guys so there the top brackets in installed there's the heat shield see how the, the exhaust is right there that's why the heat shield's right there for, on this rv anyway um your applications could be different for these airbags but for my rv that's what they are um down under here right here is where you want to get your mounting brackets in see those the u brackets make sure that this is in its natural state not cocked or anything or whatever just kind of I shake mine around a little bit, just make sure it's sitting right where it needs, and then that's where I'll tighten it up. Alrighty guys, so I'm laying underneath the RV. There's your air connection there. And you can see how close the exhaust is. There's that flange that goes down over, covers the boot, the airbag for the exhaust. I put some heat resistant uh, wrap around it, about a foot to keep it just to keep this heat here from getting to that airline put some clamps on it and then i put some gorilla tape around spots that might rub that's the key thing don't have your airlines rubbing on anything so protect that it goes there and then it goes bear with me here and i have it there strap there nothing to rub there little rub point right here and zip tied there goes through the side here and then out and then that's where you fill your airbag 
so the pastor side is all done guys all right so i got this side down tires are back on and there's your airbags no air in them they're just collapsed like they're supposed to be uh there there we go yeah they look good so i'll do the other side and then i'll get it aired up and see what happens but everything looks good over here so far all right guys so here's the driver's side it was much easier uh, there wasn't as much in the way back behind here just a couple fuel lines you just got to move out of the way a little bit prying with a little pry bar just to get them out um, but it went in really well everything fits clearance between that and the leaf spring is good everything bolted in good there's a brake line there but everything stay out of the way went in place and brought it through a frame rail zip tied it taped it zip tied it and brought it out there she goes so both sides are done and we'll get a tire on and uh get some air in them and show you how it works all right guys so one thing you got to remember when you fill your airbags is whatever your supply is that's all the air you're going to get into your bag so like my compressor line puts out 100 psi so the most I can put in here is 100. Um, on my RV, it was leaning to the left a little bit, which is the driver's side, because all the weights and tanks over here, everything's over here, so it's always leaning. And I think my leaf spring might be just a little bit more weak in the passenger side. So I have like 96 PSI on this side, and I only have two and a half on passenger side. But that levels it out, and it works, and it rides great right now. So, All right, guys, so we got, I'm gonna do all the, I'm gonna fill the airbags up. I think, I think you can see me right here, but uh, fill them up as you can see right here. It's on about five and a half inches right there of height. I'm gonna fill it up and see what happens. There she goes. That's pretty good. That raises it up, that levels it. You see how good it worked? So I went up about an inch and a half right there. So, yep, they work pretty good, guys. All right, thanks, man. I uh, appreciate you watching the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll check you guys later.